Established by the government of St. Lucia to help generate sustainable employment opportunity for the people of St. Lucia. Register today with NICE. Call us at 468-2177 or visit us in the Blue Coral Building in Cash Street. NICE! N-I-C-E The National Initiative to Create Employment That's NICE! Building a nation one job at a time NICE! In his May 8, 2012 budget address, his first since returning to the office of the Prime Minister, Honorable Kennedy Anthony announced his intention to launch an initiative to create employment. It would be a special unit under his supervision, set up primarily to deliver on the government's $100 million promise to create jobs over a five-year period. NICE, which means National Initiative to Create Employment, is a mechanism which will lead, drive and support the various programs for employment in the period ahead. NICE will be our comprehensive and integrated response to the unemployment crisis which we face. Five weeks later, on June 14, 2012, the National Initiative to Create Employment, NICE, was launched. NICE was created with a single-minded objective to generate employment opportunities for St. Lucians over the three-year life cycle of the project, with the public sector being the lead driver in the initial period. The approach is simple. Place people in positions that are available as long as their skills match that of the job requirements and work with the public and private sectors to create additional jobs. So the primary objective is putting people to work while simultaneously reducing the level of unemployment in St. Lucia. There are thousands of St. Lucians who have not earned an income over the last couple of years. Persons who are not able to feed their children, meet the cost and expense of sending their children to school, and simply putting food on their tables. So that we are trying uh, to reduce this chronic problem and critically and crucially, and this is not often appreciated, to put some income into the pockets of individuals. From my own assessment as I travel around the country, things are tight, things are challenging, things are difficult, and there's no need for us to pretend otherwise. And part of the problem is that persons really do not have the kind of income, the kind of money to be able to purchase goods and services, so that we are now providing people with an option, an opportunity to earn an income, and therefore enjoy the spin-off effects in the economy as a whole. And just how many of the thousands of unemployed St. Lucians has NICE put to work? In this documentary, we will introduce you to some of the people and learn about the positive difference that earning an income has made to their daily lives. But first, let us meet the key players who work diligently behind the scenes to help generate these employment opportunities. From inception to now, the project has provided 2,650 free persons with employment opportunity. We are on target. We targeted 2,000 persons in the first year. We have not completed the first years yet, and we are very proud to know that we have surpassed that target. We are very thankful for that opportunity to do so. And I say thankful in the sense that our people, again, I make the point, were very receptive to the program and the project itself, showing that they came to us, likewise we came to them, and they were very receptive to some of the things that we presented to them. It gave us an opportunity to reconcile our project disciplines with their needs. And in that way, we were able to create a dialogue between them and us. We are able now to go into the new year, having established that framework, and focus now on the private sector. Because what has happened is that, as the project discipline posit, that in its first year, it would have focused on the public sector. Over 2,600 St. Lucians are now earning an income, thanks to the opportunities that NICE has helped to create under three specific areas. The Small Business Targeted Assistance Program, commonly referred to as SBTAP, is geared towards assisting new and existing small and micro businesses become more efficient and more profitable through technical assistance, the creation of additional employment, or the securing of collateral for a business loan. 
The three sectors that this the we will be providing assistance to are the creative industry, agro-processing, and the manufacturing industry. Now, there are four areas that we will be providing assistance with for these um, sectors, and that is primarily te the technical assistance, research and development, marketing and product development, and the credit facilities. The, one of the most important things that we must bear in mind with the just SB TAP assistance, we see everybody, even though we say that we assisting persons within the three sectors, that is agro-processing, manufacturing, and um, the creative industry. Persons coming to us, we have found persons coming to us for whom maybe want to open up a little supermarket or a mini mart or so. We would assist them maybe through um, the creation of their employment. You may need somebody to assist them. But NICE is not the only entity assisting in this regard. As a matter of fact, this project has teamed up with several financial institutions and other government organizations to and achieve its objectives. We, we, have, we have formed partnerships with um, other government ministries. We work with um, OPSR, Bell Fund in particular, Development Bank, and the Bureau of Standards. So it's all about a partnership working with each other to create employment, which is the, one of the primary ob objectives of the NICE initiative, to create employment. And we hope to do so with the small businesses on the island. The second component of the NICE project is the National Apprenticeship and Placement Program, which seeks to place the unemployed in areas that match their skills and experience. Through the NSDC, which has partnered with NICE, unskilled and inexperienced people are given a chance to learn a new skill or a trade through an apprenticeship scheme. The National Apprenticeship Program is there in, it's in two components. The first component is placement, where we place persons who already have job experience or training, and we put them, we try to place them on a job. So they work directly based on the area that they're, they're trained in. With the apprenticeship program, we have persons coming through who don't have any training or experience and we put them on a job to get on the job hands-on training alongside a industry person or in an area of their choice. They would indicate to us what area they're interested in being trained in and we put them alongside somebody of that particular skill to train with that person. Um, so that way they get hands-on experience in the field and of course they get certified at the end so we would have persons going out to, to assess them while they're out there against the standard, an industry standard, um, which is approved by the Ministry of Education and they assess based on the standard and of course once they qualify, they've satisfied all the areas, then they would be certified in that area. The attachments are for a period of about four to six months. My role as project officer for the north of the island with the NICE project office is to monitor the programs and initiatives of the office from canneries in the west up to the north of the island and going to the west coast of Germany. As project officer, my role is to be responsible for the south from Monaco to Sufre. We need this new catavaya program now. If the program is a book program, a whole valley. If you took money and work a day, took money to pay a bottle. If you remember, we saw Boba and Mrs. Shona do it. And I hope that we continue to set this up. If you put first the young, young, young femme, put the coil to run a sports up here. Plain field maintenance program is an initiative whereby we want all of our playing facilities on the island to be in shape for our sportsmen and sportswomen. So all of the playing fields, district playing fields and school playing fields are supposed to be kept in playing order or playing condition throughout the year. Also included in that program is other multi-purpose courts um, throughout the communities. So what we did actually is to put those um, playing field maintenance officers through a short um, productivity enhancement training, PET whereby they were able to um, see the, the worth, what it is like to, to be a, a worker with the government of St. Lucia and how to work as a team. We have also provided placement in the South um, under the Home Health Program. Um, 
We have also collaborated with the St. Jude's Hospital in providing placement. The various um, schools in the south, both primary and secondary schools, we have provided placements in these areas. And we, we, also, we have also collaborated with the private sector in providing placement in some, of, some private sector places in the south of the island. Some of the other components under the NAP include the National Coaches Program, which currently employs 44 football coaches in infant and primary schools throughout St. Lucia. The plan is to roll out similar programs in other sporting disciplines in the coming financial year. As project officers, we have the role of making sure that our employees are not just um, persons getting a free packet, but it is something where we employ people so that they are more confident about themselves. We are trying to make workers out of, of the people, responsible workers. So this is why we do the training and we do the monitoring and evaluation. So um, some of those people have not been employed for a long time and so on. And it is our duty now to make sure that they are very respectful workers and they take their work seriously. So we have to monitor and evaluate what is going on to try to make sure that our country is getting what we train them to do. The focus for me at, at um, having just joined the, the NICE team of courses is overall impact um, of the program and the whole focus on monitoring and evaluating this project. Um, this is a sizable investment that the government of St. Lucia has made to deal with the issues of unemployment. And as we continue into the next phases of this program, we will be paying a lot of attention in terms of um, the impact of our interventions because so far, for example, we have provided about 2,000 jobs to persons in the community, unemployed individuals. Importantly for us as part of this project is the issue of sustainability. Um, so my role, um, having just joined the NICE team, would be a, a big focus on the issues of sustainability, monitoring our impact, and what we have done in the community to date. The National Public Performance Program is yet another innovative means through which the NICE project has created employment opportunities. Through a collaborative effort with the Ministry of Creative Industries, local performers have an opportunity to showcase their talents through a series of public performances. This not only assists them in earning a steady income and gain royalties, but it affords them the added avenue to market their original work. From the ministry standpoint, we are extremely pleased to be collaborating with NICE in ensuring that this initiative actually takes root. Um, for us, it's a win-win it's a situation. We are in the throes of establishing a new industry, which obviously will take time. But while we are doing that, and there are a number of things that we need to do to make sure that it is a sustainable one, it is also important for us to be able to demonstrate in very tangible terms how people can benefit from such an initiative and how people can see opportunities within the creative industries to gain employment and sustainable employment. So far, we've explained two of the major areas under the NICE project. Let's now hear about the infrastructural end of things, the component which has employed the largest number of people to date under the project. Under the Constituency Projects and Infrastructure Program, residents of communities throughout the island are now more comfortable getting to and from their homes because of newly built footpaths, culverts and bridges, and refurbished tracks, some of which are now motorable. At this point, we've completed um, 60 
um, individual projects with 60 individual contracts. Um, they have been um, in every constituency. Um, they vary in, in, in cost from um, $20,000 to um, $45,000. Um, infrastructure um, includes drainage works, uh, retaining walls, um, uh, bus shelters, everything that would contribute significantly to an improved um, access for, for, for um, individuals. Each contract has a minimum required um, number of persons who are to be employed on, 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 on the contracts. If we look at the, the 60 um, contracts that have been uh, completed, we're looking at uh, an average of about uh, 10 people employed from, from the general area on each, on each particular contract. So we're looking at about uh, 600, um, 600 uh, persons. Uh, involved in, in actual construction works. In keeping with, with our objective basically to employ our, our local people, um, uh, we make sure that particularly uh, uh, people in the general area where the work uh, is actually taking place, that they get, they get work basically on, on, on the contracts. So that's important. Um, 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 requirement of, 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 of the um, the program. It was very was very hard but I had to do it so there's a joy of doing it because living in the community and I'm proud of myself. It was a great pleasure for me to um, get that job and well done. Uh, I was proud about it. I love Lama, I built up two bridges there and it was well done. So I'm proud to see I'm happy to see how it how done and so on, you know. You've heard from the driving force behind the NICE project. The people who help the public and private sector organizations create employment opportunities for all of us. I'm also thankful for the persons who have, we have employed and who have shown um, their commitment to performing on the job. It is very important to say that because too often we don't celebrate our people's performance and it, it gives me an opportunity to celebrate the performances of those persons who have done exceptionally well during the last couple of months. I believe that we have a long way to go, but I also believe that we can achieve a lot more than we think we can by just making ourselves um, avail, of, to avail ourselves rather, of those resources that are, are available to us. Um, whether it be by in cash or kind, but our people, we must have confidence in them and to show that, yes, you may be unemployed, but you must give them the hope that they can do better. We will now introduce you to some of the beneficiaries of this project, those people for whom the various programs have made a positive difference in their lives. I started KidsNet in 2009, June 2009, I started KidsNet. We started with girls alone, and then we, we include boys. And now that this program is going on very good, we have 200 plus children, Christmas, Easter, and summer. Um, I think it's a very good program for children. Parents have somewhere to leave their children. When school closes, so at least the children will not stay in the house and misbehave. They have a playing ground where they can run about, where they enjoy themselves and they've really enjoyed themselves. NICE came on board for summer, summer 2012, which they assisted in paying my teachers, helping me pay my teachers, which that was a good thing I like about it. Praise God for NICE, at least I can get something to pay my teachers and the young children that's not working. At least they're creating jobs for these children. At least they have something to do instead of just hanging around, hanging around between the ages of 16 to 17 years. My time at the summer camp is very exciting. When I wake up in the morning, I'm happy to come to the summer camp. I think of all the nice children that are there, and I'm a netballer, so I like playing netball. So when I come to the camp, the children play good games. They are, we got some bad, some good children, but as we could handle them, um, since nice came aboard, and they paid um, us, the teachers, and that's that a nice thing for us. I can buy my school books, 
I could buy. I could buy my uniform, my school uniform. My experience at NICE was really good. Yeah. I must say, the people at MNC Drugstore were like a family to me. Generally, they had really good guidance. I got a chance to have different perspectives. Um, helping customers, generally, customer service was a really good experience because from my previous jobs, I've done basically office work and it was a nice change. Our system which was created from an idea of working in a very corporate environment and seeing the requirements of the businesses that I worked around or worked with. Um, while still being in a full-time job, I decided to start the business. Um, after leaving my previous employment, I decided to make also more of a sustainable thing for myself and my family. Um, I heard from I heard from um, other business partners concerning Nice and what they were um, looking to offer for small businesses like myself. Now for small businesses like myself, financial is a big thing for us and every opportunity counts. So I was given the opportunity to um, come in to speak to NICE to figure out how they could have put them together for myself and the company. Um, presently, NICE assists with taking care of one of my staff, which is, greatly, which is, great, which is, a, which is a great, um, it's a great help. Considering considering salary paying a salary for someone is actually a huge expense in operation. I manufacture children's clothing from zero to fourteen, maybe sixteen years. I have been in business for the last five years, not very uh, productive. Um, I was having some financial problems in being able to to pay staff as um, startup capital was not forthcoming. So I approached a NICE project and they have assisted me in providing me with one staff member. Since then, from last year, I've been able to have one staff member continually. And by so doing, I've been able to produce much more than I've produced in the past few years. When I left the public service, I decided you know, to to go into farming, you know, because I had um, quite a bit of that land there that my father left, you know, um, and it was just there idle. So I decided to go into agriculture. However, one of the biggest challenges with the, with, with farming is uh, though there is a river right next door, is the question of irrigation. Okay, I mean, and I'm, uh, the initial amount of money that I had to start the project was subsumed you know by the preparation of the land you know buying chemicals buying uh, seedlings and stuff like that you know and uh, the irrigation do it was it is really essential uh, it it it, uh, it seemed um, not achievable at the time you know and uh, i went to nice you know to you know for some assistance and uh, you know i mean and they readily came to came to my assistance and uh, and they've uh, managed, you know, and, I, and I've managed to sort of, um, you know, start a, a very successful, um, you know, crop. I um, applied at the NSDC as a customer service representative, but I was so um, fortunate under the NAP program to um, be placed um, as assistant PRO, public relations officer, which I. I love um, coming here every day. It's a learning experience. I have learned a lot. I can treat my hair by you. I can bend you. I can make you all the way doctor. I can stay with me by you. I can feed madam la because madam la pas kawe clear ki ni pas kan sin so I am money for my fair by you, I am toujours là, I am toujours à l'air en travail. Et mon mon hope, mon only hope, gouvernement qui continue travail and program Ali because it's a bon program. I believe that this was one of the greatest initiatives taken up by the present administration because this program gives persons an opportunity to gain employment and also to assist the unfortunate persons in the community. I, I love what I do. It gives me an opportunity to meet so many different people in the community and most importantly to have a positive impact on 
person's health to help the um the sick and those who are not able to afford to put their parents in homes and it gives them the relief that to know that they've left their parents in the care of capable individuals i had a, i've always had a keen interest in caring for the elderly I love them. I have a passion for them. I take pride in what I do. I love the program. I love what I do. And I wish this program would continue forever. I am very grateful for this program. I always wanted to see these things happen. I couldn't do it on my own, but I want to thank government where they have initiated and implemented this program. I also want to say thanks to the caregivers who in odd hours they would do all they have to do. Also, I want to say thanks to the families and the clients who have accepted this program. Thank you. It's a good job of the government to do, because there are two people who are disabled to continue. When I come here, I look at my wife, 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 Avec moi, ça m'a mené en disable, Kay Moué. Mon coton, puis c'est un mot, ça qui était Kay là, allé, avec moi, ça m'a l'année au monde qui Kay point K, fouet moi en disant Kay là. Madame, moi, nous tous les jours, nous n'y pouvons quitter Kay là. Il y a un de nous dans la situation, travail nous, business nous, ça nous n'y pouvons faire. Avec moi, je wish that you will programme ça, son programme. Qui te ka di we pou l'instant la vie on nom. Oh programme la a fait un chai bagay mwen because ki um pou nettoyer mwen, pou chipper mwen, um pou y manger tout bagay mwen. Yo fait um c'est mon ka fait tout ces bagay ça ban bien mwen. Nettoyer nou a dan a a da tout bagay. So nou ka remercier on dit pour ça because ki um mon pa ça fait pa ko nou mwen. C'est yon moun tout moun nè kite pou fey pou mwèk madame mwen. Et pi jodi a nou twape l'okasyon sa e pou nou kawe ki sa gouvetman fe ban nou. Mwen ka wi mèsye bon de pou sa. Et pi mwen ka man de pou kontine yi pala je travay sa ban nou souple. Bikos ki son fa fe yon ka fe nou le ou fe sa ban nou. So mwen ka wi mèsye bon de pou sa. Oh praise God. Let us say thanks to NICE for this great opportunity for the elderly. I think it's a wonderful program and I hope and pray God that it continues on this path. Of course, I am the supervisor for Mikud North and so far the elderly have been well taken care of. Thank you so nice again. We the residents of Kabish are very delighted to have given, given this long awaited opportunity to witness the grand opening of this program. This project was a need for the section of the community. Pour descendre là après midi m'a passé là pour moi je suis à tout à l'heure là moi déjà passé Charlie pas jeep lui en bas là donc avec il commande il commande um pas descendre si ça tire ba la bali s'il vous plaît puis ça sortir jeep lui ou ça pour qui la pas on ni on fout pas là ni en moto pas après ça avec qui manière qui toi il fait avec quoi là pour nous Cece Alvin Arenas Eric Bell We give thanks to God Nice honorable Alpha Baptist and also other persons who made it dream a reality We look forward to the continued development of the area in the coming years We are con committed to the growth care and development of this area into one of the most scenic area of the Labri village I say thank you to all concerned. I say thank you because of the many years we waited patiently. Ladies and gentlemen, patience is a great virtue. Good things come to those who wait. As with any and all projects, particularly of this financial magnitude, one needs to measure its success against its set objectives and budget. Do you know the project in itself is three years in its duration. And as we come to an end, it is my hope that there is continuity of some time. There's a question of sustainability, yes. However, we must agree that 
there is a need for more resources and we know that we don't have a limitless pool from which we can just pull and say yes we can do this we can do that we can do this it means that we must exercise prudence in everything we must exercise um, a lot of uh, significant judgment in terms of where we are going how we are doing it and for what reasons we are doing it addressing unemployment is ever going to be with us it's, it's ever present and employment is ever present and we may not be able to achieve a hundred percent employment but we can make the effort to achieve it and I see NICE working over past the three-year period and um, again this is a policy decision um, I'm not in a position to say how it's gonna happen but it's left to the policy the policy makers to decide upon that I'm very thankful at the end of the day that there is confidence that has been shown in the team the implementation team that um, have been at at this from inception to now that we were able to do what we have done and we are thankful for the government who has placed that confidence in us and have placed the resources in our hands to do what we are doing in keeping with our commitment to invest over 100 million in job creation NICE will continue for the next two financial years with spending peaking in 2013-2014 with a projected investment of another $45 million. From what we've just seen and heard, NICE is well on target to fulfill its mandate of creating 5,000 jobs in three years. If you too want to increase your chances of becoming employed under the project, please visit us at the Blue Coral Mall in Castries or visit our website, nicejobs.govt.lc. Travail pour l'honneur, travail avec l'orgueil, travail pour famille, travail pour payer, travail pour l'honneur, travail avec l'orgueil, travail pour famille, travail pour payer, oui. vous savez qu'on nous va, nice. comme nous nous va, nice. pays à nous va, nice. ça c'est un bon plan, nice. vous savez qu'on nous va, nice. comme nous nous va, nice. pays à nous va, nice. ça c'est un bon plan. Résister avec le programme NICE. NICE, c'est un programme gouvernement service établi pour faire travail à valide pour tous ces Christiens. Pas quitter l'opportunité, ça l'a passé. Résister avec le programme NICE Jodia. Et bien, puis, yo à 468 2077 NICE. Un programme qui a changé la vie de ces Christiens, yon pa yon.